everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Well, this was a long time coming. Another release from Titans of Cult. Uh, the last release we got from them was The Matrix. And it was way back in January, I think it was the end of January. So uh, a big, big wait for this one. But I have to admit, the wait was worth it because this is a lovely release. So we have got The Watchmen. Now, I've said this to a few people when it comes to my Titans of Cult releases. I've been very fortunate when it comes to double dipping. Uh, I think this might be the 17th uh, edition of Titans, and out of the 17, I only had to double dip twice. Uh, I have been very, very fortunate. I've never had any of these films on 4K, bar two of them. I think it was Halloween and The Matrix, the last Matrix one uh, we, we got. So yes, I didn't have to dibble, uh, double dip too often, which is um, very, very fortunate, I have to admit. And it's uh, I can't really complain about it as well. So, yes, this Watchmen, uh, one would say it's a bit of a strange choice again from Titans. Um, when you think of all the films out there, does the Watchmen really need uh, a Titans release? I don't know. Uh, I've seen the film once. I can't really remember it, to be honest. Uh, I think I might have been a little underwhelmed by it. Again, I might be wrong. I just, I don't know. I, I, it's been that long. But i uh, very curious to see what this film is going to look like in 4K. But unfortunately for this video, it's going to be a simple unboxing. So uh, I'm not going to waste any time, folks. Let's open this up and we'll see what everything we get on this release. And uh, yeah, it's shaping up to be a nice one. Right, so here we go, uh, Watchmen. And uh, the first thing I will say is the artwork is just exquisite. Uh, I really do have to give credit when credit's due. This looks absolutely amazing. Uh, to put, is it Mr. Manhattan? I'm hoping that's his name. Uh, I think that's his name. Putting him on the cover. Uh, the colour scheme just looks absolutely extraordinary. Definitely one of the better ones I've seen from Titans. So yes, absolutely digging on that artwork. It's It really is insane. Love that. So uh, take us around to the spine of it now. Uh, nothing has changed. And hopefully it stays that way as well. And I've removed the Jake card off already, but I'll show you his now in a second. But as you can see, there's just plain nothing at the back of it at all. Bit of a shame that they could have put something on it. Uh, anything. But uh, yeah, they've opted for just a plain yellow. So uh, yeah, that is the artwork on it. And uh, yeah, just again, I can't praise it enough. It looks, looks absolutely exquisite. Really does. So I'll just put this down for a second. I will bring in this J card and I'll show you the back of it. Now... This J card is a real kind of flimsy paper J card. Now, normally on the Titans releases, you got a kind of maybe a stronger cardboard J card. And uh, yeah, they've gone for this kind of flimsy paper. I don't know what it is with Titans, but why is it every time I seem to get a new release from them, there seems to be these little differences made just to seem to just to cheapen the set a bit. Uh, do not understand it. Um, I is not getting enough money uh, for these movies. It's, uh, it's crazy. So uh, yeah, I'll put this up here and... Uh, that is some of the technical features if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, bring it back out again. So yes, that is the J card. So uh, I will open this up now and we'll see everything they get inside it. So I already take took out the uh, the cards that you get with this already. So um, that's the steel book there. And this is the pins. So I will start with the pins, sorry. Uh, with this side. So let's see if I can take this out. So this is the first pin. Oh, the, the, this is the pin, sorry, you get with it. So as you can see, it's the same as the, it's the piece in the center of Mr. Manhattan's head. Uh, again, let me know in the comment section if I'm getting that character right. I hope I am. So uh, yeah, that is the pin itself, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it is the exact same size and weight as the Wonder Woman shield uh, that we got way back. What was the third edition of the Titans brought out? So uh, yeah, very similar to that one. So uh, yeah, that is the pin. Very nice and very uh, fitting for the this film itself. So next we have these cards, which I'm going to show you now in a second. So that's the envelope you get them in. And uh, that's the back of it there and you have Titans. And uh, there these, these ink blotch cards, whatever you want to call them. So uh, there's three of them all together. And uh, when you turn it around, there's a bit of a writing there. And if you just want to pause it there and have a read as yourselves, you can. So that's the first card. Uh, there's the second one. And then we'll turn it around and the same thing again. You get a bit of a write up there. And then to our last one. And we'll flip it around and there we go. So that is it, three cards with this set. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. They're three, they're three kind of ink blocked cards, whatever you want to call them. 
So uh, yeah, yeah, what yeah. So lastly, we have got the steel book, and uh, this is the one I think really steals the show on this set. Um, I think it is absolutely extraordinary. Um, it complements the main cover quite brilliantly as well. But uh, look at the color scheme. It just looks. It really does look extraordinary. I'm on a good run at the moment when it comes to steel books, and this is a. Uh, this is another great looking one. So uh, I'll take us around to the spine of it, and then to the back. And as you can see, it's the same th same uh, thing as the, the the main artwork in the front. But uh, it's one of them things where you open the steel book up, you get a completed picture. So again, I hope you can sort of see the the way that the way the texture is kind of done in the steel book. It just looks absolutely extraordinary. And I will open it up and see if you can see the full thing together. So there you go. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you bend the light off, it just looks absolutely extraordinary. So uh, well done, Titans. This is an absolute, yeah, it really is an amazing steelbook. Uh, definitely one of the better ones up there. So yeah, turn it around. But unfortunately, then we are ruined by these horrible looking Paramount discs. Uh, no artwork whatsoever. I'm not even going to show them because they're not worth showing. But I'm going to take them out quickly so you can actually see uh, the artwork at the back of the steelbook. So there we go. It really is a beautiful steelbook, uh, steelbook set. It's a shame. Again, Titans, you know, they used to put their own alternate artwork as well onto them discs. And for some strange reason now, this Paramount one, they've done nothing with it. Again, another sign of just, you know, doing this little cheapening thing uh, with their releases. Bit of a shame that. So, uh, yeah, that is the Titans Occult release. Uh, other than a few little kind of... Uh, kind of little kind of cheaping cutbacks. It's still a very fantastic release from them and I'm very happy to have it. Right folks, so there you have it. That is everything in this set and uh, really I'm digging on that steelbook. And yes, I think it's a nice release. I really do. It's um, it's a welcome addition to my Titans of Cult collection. Right, so just at the start of this video, I said that I didn't actually watch the 4K transfer in this, but when I cut off, I decided, you know what? Knock it on for a couple of minutes. Just have a quick look at it and just share my thoughts on it on the few minutes that I have seen. Now, I knocked on the Blu-ray as well just to get an idea of what we're getting. Uh, I'll give you a few aspect, uh, technical aspects first before I do get on what I, from what I've seen. So, it's got an aspect ratio of 240 by 1. Uh, it's not native 4K. It's a 2K upscale. Uh, it's got HDR. It's got Dolby Vision. Uh, no Dolby Atmos. Uh, you've only got uh, true Dolby 5.1. And it has a monster running time of 215 minutes. So I don't think the director's cut is in this set as well. So that's going to uh, that's probably going to annoy a lot of people as well. Uh, yeah, so I knocked it on just for a couple of minutes. Again, you can't really take my word for what I've seen. But I'm just going to say what I saw. Uh, the, the, going by the Blu-ray and the 4K, it looks like the colour palette has been drastically changed. Uh, this film is dark on 4K. Now that's expected when you get Dolby Vision in HDR. But um, it seems to be a hell of a lot darker compared to the uh, the Blu-ray release. And some of the colours look a little mutish, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, it just looks a bit lifeless, the picture. Now, I don't know if that was the director's intention to have the film looking this way. But I don't know, with the Blu-ray, just the colours seem to just, you know, they just seem to be a bit more robust on the, on the Blu-ray than it is on the, um, the 4K release. Uh, again... Not quite sure what the reason behind behind that is, but uh, yeah, it's what I see, unfortunately. Um, I wouldn't call it what you call a 4K demo-worthy disc. It's far from it, uh, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, look, this is 10 minutes, folks. Uh, you know, like I said, don't take my word for it. Uh, I'm just saying what I've seen for the, for the 10 minutes that I have seen. Uh, so, yeah, it's looking a little underwhelming when it comes to picture quality. But again, I am going to watch it in the next couple of days. And I'll probably feature it again somewhere along the line uh, on a haul video. And I'll definitely share my full thoughts. But as of now, it's looking a little disappointing. So that is it, folks. That is it. Just a quick, my quick thoughts on the, the, the sesh and what I've bit, the bit I've seen of the 4K transfer. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie. And if you have seen the transfer, uh, let me know what you thought yourselves. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. So take it easy, folks, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.